Welcome back to Farm West of Boring, where life is anything but boring. Today, I am going to be working on our John Deere lawn mower. I remember last year we had uh, some problems with the transmission, and I took the transmission out, changed the oil, cleaned it up, and it seemed to work pretty good for a while. Now it's not working so well anymore, so I'm going to take it apart and see what is going on with the oil level, and perhaps just have to get a rebuild kit and rebuild that transmission. So, let's go. So I have the uh, John Deere tractor lifted up. It's got it on some uh, jacks there. Took the mower deck off. So it looks like what I need to do is take off four bolts. One, two, three, four. And then we'll drop that thing down. And then we have to undo some, uh, undo some of these things here and take the belt off and then we'll get it out of there. I'll take some photographs here just so I know what I'm doing. So there we go, we've got the transmission out of the tractor. This is the same way I had it last summer when I fixed it, but I took the oil cap off and I can see that there is basically very little oil left in there. It's not up to within three quarters of an inch of the top. And I can see that basically it all has been coming right out through this seal right here. That's my problem. I think it, I think the transmission would probably work just fine. I'm going to have to take it apart, clean it up, take the, uh, the bottom off of it, pull this axle out, and replace that seal. But as long as I'm at it, I'll go ahead and replace that seal over there also. And uh, although it doesn't appear to be leaking, and I'll probably go ahead and replace the seals on this and clean it up. Put it back together and we'll see if it works. If not, then I will be sending it off sending the insides off to the uh, guy in Canada, who now I guess for $115 will basically rebuild and refix the inner parts uh, and then send them back to you. So that's where we stand tomorrow. Clean up, pull off the bottom, pull those axles out. We'll get right back to the build on the John Deere tractor transmission, but I wanted to take the opportunity to ask you to give me a thumbs up if you're getting any value out of this video and also subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it because that'll help us a lot. And hit the notifications bell and we'll notify you next time there's a video. But right now, let's get back to the build. Here are some photographs from the inside of the transmission that I took the next day. I went ahead and ordered the seal kit from uh, a company back in Pennsylvania. And it was supposed to be here in a couple days, but because of the snowstorms, it's taken a little bit longer. So I just have to wait. So we'll do some more work uh, in a few days.
We received the uh, arts kit from Tough Torque. Actually, it's from Moyer in Pennsylvania. It's got all the parts in it. It's got the new filter, oil seals, new caps, and I've already put in the new seals. I just had to pound them in, and then I used one of these washers to set it down so that it's set in there, so there's a little bit of a lip. So we've got that one in. Got the new one set in for that wire, for the, uh, the drive pulley. So now we're ready to go ahead and start putting things back together. So I guess the first part we're gonna put back in, it's gonna be this. It goes, sits down in the very bottom. Got that set in there. And then there's a little spring that goes down in there. This little piece here. You can see sort of the scoring on this one side so that goes in there like that. Okay, so we have this in place. We've got the rubber band taken off of there. So the next thing we're gonna do is put these axles in and put the differential gears in. Take a little bit of oil and put on here. And then we're gonna slide that through. Then this piece here goes in. And we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so I've got both the short short axle in and the longer axle. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick those um, the differential gears up and we're going to put those in place. <clears throat> I have this marked from when we were doing it, we took it out and I put R on for right. So the right, the right goes that way and the left side goes that way. And you can see that this indented part here is on the left. So we're gonna go ahead and ouch. Well, that's a great, how do you do? There we go, get that one in. Get that bottom one in. So now those are set in there. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is get this little clip put in and you'll see that one side is flat and the other side is round. And I've marked on this out so the <laughs> So that's the flat side. That's the side I marked out. So out means it goes to my left here, and I've got to get that set down here. Okay, there we go. Now that's set in there. Now this one, which again I've got it marked out on one side, so that means it goes out, goes this way, and then that's going to drop down into here to hold that. Okay, so now that, not sure if you can see that, but that slipped in, that slipped, that little clip slipped in there, and then this is going to go on there. Like that, like so. Okay, now we have to do the same to the other side. 
there's a little dent. Flat side goes towards the gears. Okay, so now that dropped in there. And this one here got marked. There we go. Now that slipped in. That one drops in. Axles are in place. Well, I don't think we're going to be doing any mowing anytime soon on the uh, John Deere tractor. But of course, it's not put together yet. However, with all the rain and wet and wind, I don't think we're going to be going out there and mowing anytime soon. But uh, here we go. So I think I've got pretty much everything put back together. There's the bolts to hold on the bottom pan, pulley and the fan, and then the cap, a couple of magnets, attachment, the wheel attachment things. I do have one extra washer that I'm really not sure where that goes. It might go with that one, that which which is what holds the, uh, the transmission. It's a stabilizer for the transmission. Here are the bolts. Hold the transmission on to the tractor. Um, so we'll see. We'll put this thing together and see if we can maybe get it going. So maybe Saturday when we have some sun, we can go out and do some mowing. So here we go, we've got that on there. Got the new filter. This is the original, this came with the machine. Um, all the gears are working, it does, I can, I can turn the thing so it's not binding. I've uh, uh, torqued these bolts down to um, 35 or up to 35 pounds. Now, what's sort of interesting is that in all the other videos that I've seen, there's a it looks like there's a a metal shaker thing or whatever you call this, and uh, on our, on ours it was like this. The other thing I had made a mistake earlier. I'd put this in the wrong way. Uh, but it does need to go this way and then I have also put the magnet in here so I think oops I don't want to do that and then I have to make sure that that thing is turned properly now this now that I've got it messed up I guess I'll just have to come on baby okay put the camera down for a second okay so there I've got the this flat spot pointed up uh, the only thing I'm really sort of curious about is that on all the other videos I've watched this piece here it appears that the thick part is up on the top and the narrow part is down. Now, on mine, I have photographs from when I first took it apart and this is the way it was and I put little arrows up here. You can hardly see them anymore. But And then if you look real closely, you can see there's um, sealant. So you can see how the sealant went around there. So that's, that is the way it was. There's some sealant right there. So that's sitting in there just the way it was when I took it apart. So I'm not quite sure. 
some people say that the tractor will go in reverse when it's supposed to go forward and vice versa. But this is the way it was. So I'm hoping that, that will work. Oh, cat. I guess the cat wants to get on the trailer or on the tractor. Hi, kitty. Is it too wet outside? You can't go outside? We leave that door up so they can come in and out of the garage. Um, but I think it's a little bit wet and cold out there for them. So I'm going to go ahead and put some sealer, sealant on the lower part here, the lower pan, and let it set for about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to put it on there, hand tighten the bolts, let that sit for about an hour, and then we'll torque it down to 17 pounds. I'm going to go 17 foot-pounds. Uh, one of the videos that I watched, the guy uh, torqued it down to 35 pounds, and I think that was too much. Not sure, but I have a feeling that 35 pounds is <clears throat> what's meant for these bolts, but for these bolts, which are M8s, that should only be about 17 pounds. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open this stuff up. It's called Valco Cincinnati all-in-one silicone aluminum RTV silicone gasket maker. So we will start over here. Let's see if we can. This is this is really cold, so I should have probably heated it up some. Gonna follow all those little valleys and then go around each bolt. Sort of like toothpaste. I don't know if I'd want to brush my teeth with this stuff. Guess that's it okay so we'll let that sit for about 15 minutes Okay, well, I got a phone call, and so it's been uh, more than 15 minutes. It's been more like uh, about 45 minutes, um, but it looks like it's still 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 soft, so it should be able, should be able to get it to work. Hopefully, and we'll try it. And let's just make sure everything else is. I'm afraid I'm forgetting something, but I guess not. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so it goes down, and it looks like stuff's squeezing out. Hopefully we're, okay, so. Put some of these in. Make sure they start so they don't get stripped. Looking around here, making sure there's not something laying out here that I forgot to put in there. And those center two are the longer ones, so.
Now we're supposed to wait an hour, I guess, before you tighten these down, but I'm not sure that I have to wait an hour now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten this down. So we've got a 14 on right here now. Maybe we can go here. Put this 12. And we will see. Yeah, I think that's it. I've gone over them a couple times. Okay. So there we go. We've got those all torqued down to about 17 to 20, somewhere in that range. Okay, so one thing that I'm wondering about here is that it on several of the videos they showed a spring clip going on here. spring clip going on here but I do not see any kind of a, a dent there so I'm not sure this okay so that's so it's down the wavy one and there's that now that's it doesn't it looks like maybe this goes on the top that's all I've got is the wavy and then that doesn't seem yeah see that fits on there so I don't see any place where A clip could go on there. It looks to me like this. Like this just goes on and sits. Sits down onto that little, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little bridge there. It's on there. And then the little wavy washer. And this on top. And that that gives me it gives me enough to get into that little groove right there and put that spring clip on. So that's
that's where that goes. So now, I guess it's a matter of filling this thing up with oil. So I don't know if I should let it sit. Maybe I should let it sit for a little while. As you can see, You can see this is a little bit wet still, so maybe we should let that sit for a little bit. So I think that's what I'm going to do. It's quarter to one. We'll let that sit. So here we are. It's been sitting here for quite a while. So you can see that the Okay, so we're gonna it's supposed to be up to within about three quarters of an inch from the top. All right. Axles are turning. I don't see any oil leaking out. So there we are, we're up right to the top. So I'm gonna let this thing sit overnight and we'll see if we get any leaking anywhere. Today is the day we're gonna try and put this transmission back into the John Deere and see if we can get that thing to work. So I've finished putting it all together. It's sat overnight with the, with the, um, sealant on and the oil filled up so i'm going to go ahead and put in my oh there we go so now that goes down in there the magnet and then i'm going to put the the new lid on there where's the new lid here's the old one there's the new one it was just right here Oh, there it is, sitting right up there. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on there. There we go. Got it on there. Put this on. That's the downside, so we go down. And then we put on the little the wavy washer and put that on. So now, now what did I, oh there it is. Okay, so now Jonah, I need you to push down on that real hard and then I'm gonna try and get, oh I guess that went on. Is it in there? Yeah, that worked pretty good. But you see here, you have to, in order to get this off, you have to take, <clears throat> you have to take the pulley and the fan off to get this off in order to fill the oil. I mean, to check the oil. So the only way you can do it is by taking this whole thing apart, taking it out of the tractor in order to change, check or change the oil. Which means that, <laughs> why didn't they make it more simple? Put the fill thing back here somewhere where this is just a breather vent. You could put the, the the fill thing back here to where maybe you could access it from the back of the tractor, but I think they just want to make it difficult for people. <clears throat> okay, so we've got it put back in there. Four bolts, two bolts on either side, and all the linkages are hooked back up. And so we are going to go ahead and see, first of all, if the thing will start.
Mission accomplished. The John Deere works. It's got one little piece of metal to put back on in the back there. Uh, but it seems to be driving pretty well. Uh, only problem is, and this is a problem, because as you can see there, there is one little snap ring left. And I have no idea where that goes. So if anybody has an idea where that little snap ring goes, let me know. Well, it's another wet day here on the farm. We have the John Deere mower running. So now all we have to do is just wait for a few dry days so we can go out and start mowing that grass that is getting way too big. So if you enjoyed this video, it was sort of a long-winded thing, took multiple days. But if you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I really appreciate that because it'll help us get to our 1,000 subscriber mark. That's what we need to do. So please subscribe and hit the notifications bell and we'll let you know we have another video out. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you.